Numerical Computation, Chapter 10, Video 8. We now go through an example with a Robin boundary condition. So Robin boundary condition is um, the boundary condition that involves both its unknown and the derivative. It's kind of a mixed boundary condition. This could happen in some physical problems. Let's consider again the 1D Poisson problem. That's the Poisson equation. And we have this new boundary condition at 0, which contains the derivative and the unknown in a certain way, a linear way, and that shall equal to gamma. We can use again the ghost boundary, x minus 1, and we can approximate the Robin condition, especially the term with the derivative, by a second-order central finite difference. So this is what we will have. So that's the derivative, first derivative, plus the non-derivative term, the function term there, shall equal to gamma. And then we treat u minus 1, the ghost value, as unknown and solve this and write u minus 1 in terms of the other. And then you can plug this one into the um, finite difference scheme, the discrete Poisson, at i equals to 1. Plug that in for the term that as that's u negative 1, so which is this term here, u negative 1, and then u0 and u1, that will be the discrete Poisson operator. So after cleaning up, you can join the u1s together and u0s together, that's what you have here and move the term to gamma h to the right-hand side, which is here. And all the other equations remain unchanged. So we see again, we end up with a tridiagonal system of linear equations. Here we collect all the coefficients in the coefficient matrix, so it's tridiagonal, the rest is the same. If we just the first equation is different. So we have these two numbers, instead, and then we have this boundary condition contribution instead. And that's all. So hope that was clear and was useful and you enjoyed it and see you next time.